Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome in general. Today's video is going to be a little different. I am filming a Shop My Stash video. If you want to know the products I used to get this look today, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna do the intro after I'm done because I want my face done, but I'm gonna do the Shop My Stash portion of this right now. We're gonna go through some of my makeup collection, not all of it, because some of it is still a mess and I have to organize it, so. <laughs> We're gonna choose a primer first. Come on, camera, come on. So I have a mirror here. This is my setup, nothing crazy, but this is my primer drawer. I have my eye primers and my face primers in this drawer. I'm just gonna choose this as my eye primer. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Primer in the shade Fair. I have to use this. This is just a must. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and mine is in the shade 3. So this is definitely a must. I have to use this. And I think I'm also gonna use this Dominique Cosmetics Blur and Moisture Serum Primer because it's a very good primer and I haven't used it in a while. This is my foundation drawer. <laughs> uh, this is like my favorite foundation ever, but I'm not going to use this one today because I am low, low, low on it. And then this one is just the one I use constantly. This one this is like a tried and true, but like I don't want to use that one either because I use that one a lot. Maybe this one. This one's really good too. This is in the shade light three and it's like a cheaper alternative for the NARS like soft matte foundation. I've had this one for a long time from Wet n Wild, the photo focus line. This is the dewy one. Mine is in the shade light medium buff bisque been really obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. However, I don't think I'm going to use this one today. Maybe this one. This is from Yenza. This is the Super Serum Silk Foundation. This is in the shade, ooh, what shade is this? Light Medium. I got this from an Ipsy and it's a very nice dewy foundation. Switch to my phone because the phone is going to feel better than my camera is. I have the True Skin Concealer. This one's bomb. A lot more back here. I'm obsessed with concealer, if you haven't noticed. For concealer today, I really love like these four. These four are really good. I really know which one I'm going to choose. I think it's going to be the next bear with me because I am more than halfway through this. And it would be nice to finish a concealer. Bronzer. I think today I'm going to use the Rare Beauty because I haven't used this one in a while because I've been stuck on using the e.l.f. Halo Glow as, as a contour. This is in the shade 6. I did a short on that if you haven't checked it out. It's a very nice uh, product. Now this is like the most stuffed drawer in my collection. This is my blush drawer. I have a lot of blush a lot of blush in here so i don't know exactly what blush i am feeling today my eyes are going to be very neutral i'll show you the palette i have in mind to use today this one's very nice this is from rare beauty it's in the shade encourage i really love this one but i also love these tart ones these are the tart man eater blushing glows I would be choosing the shade pink, which is this one. It's a close color to the Rare Beauty one. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use both. Maybe I'll just use both. Who knows? Ooh, everything's falling everywhere. Highlighter, another full drawer. I think I'm in between these two because I haven't used this one in a while, nor have I used this one either. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo one, and I have mine in the shade Gilded Glow, and then I have the Opal Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. I think I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild one for today. It's a very nice color. Powders. I have been enjoying this one from number seven because it's a really old powder in my collection, and it would be nice to get, you know, to use it up. This is my small eyeshadow palette drawer, and the palette I wanted to use is this is a Tartlet Jewel. I didn't see the jewel. <laughs> this is the right one. I just, I love a smaller color story, and this one's very, very cute. So, this is the color story. I love the shimmers in here. They look very, very beautiful. And I love that you get everything you need in one tiny little palette. I think this was $21, and I've just had my eye on it, so 
we're gonna use that today setting spray i'm just gonna use the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist because it is a beautiful mist and then i have all my lip products up here and my eyeliners so let's let's see what i'm gonna use from there i recently purchased this essence extreme lasting waterproof eye pencil this is in the shade silky nude this is what i'm gonna use as my eyeliner today i feel like it will look very cute with the uh palette mascara i'm gonna wear lashes so i don't really think that i need anything crazy maybe i'll just use the essence double trouble mascara for lip liner I have this new one from LA Girl that I purchased at Ulta last weekend. This is in the shade Gingerbread. So this is the one we're gonna use today. I don't think I've, I don't think I've used it yet. And as far as lipstick goes, I really want to use one of the Merit Beauty ones. I just don't know which one just yet. I have two shades here. I have the shade. I have the shade Slip and I have the shade Millennial. Just look at these packagings. I love this brand. And I don't know if I'm going to put gloss on. I don't know. But if I do, I think I will use one from Lunar Beauty. This one is in the shade Moon. It's just a very light nude color. Yes, this is all the makeup today. I'm excited to use it all. So let's get started. So we are zoomed in and we are ready to start i have my brows on if you haven't seen my brow video i will link it somewhere i'm gonna start with the primer today i already have like moisturizer and stuff on already so just gonna go in with the dominique blur and moisture serum primer this is just like a very light serum-y primer and it like blurs your pores and like all that good stuff i really liked the consistency of this i think it's a very nice consistency and it just works very well on my skin and it also layers well with other primers because i love to use different primers it's like something i really enjoy i also like to let my primer sit on my skin while i do my eyes because i like to do my eyes first i'm gonna take a little brush like this and just prime my eyelids with the gerard clean canvas primer this primer is really really good actually i have had it for so long and i just never used it for some reason it just wasn't in my rotation and my eye has been doing some weird shit yesterday i had a little bump on my left eye which is this eye so i'm gonna try to be very careful today and like not be rough with my eye because i really don't know what was wrong maybe something bit my eye or something but like it was bugging me all day i changed my contacts today but it is what it is i can't really control what my eyelid does I also just ate. I had Denny's breakfast delivered because I wasn't about to leave the house. Because I would have taken double, double the hours and I needed to film two videos today. This is the one that's probably going to be, you know, posted a little later. I want to do a video on the Ulta Beauty fall haul, like, sale. They have a lot of good stuff on sale. And I have a lot of good recommendations for that sale. So I'm excited to go ahead and make that video i feel like it's gonna be a very well received video but this is the palette that i'm gonna play with today look how cute it is it's very neutrally i love the two really sparkly glitter shades in here i am gonna take this shade right here called stacked on my lid tarte has a very good eyeshadow formula i'm very interested in the after dark palette the man eater after dark palette i think it's a very beautiful palette and i'm just really into it i really want to try it out i love that color story i think it's right up my alley and i feel like i can do a lot of fun looks with it so if you would be interested in me trying that palette let me know because i'm kind of interested in trying that palette out you know an ulta said that we're getting something for diamond and platinum members and i'm a platinum member i don't know maybe it's like a good coupon or something i feel like it would be a good coupon ulta ulta's coupons are either hit or miss like the other day i had a 10 dollars off 50 and i went to ulta and i had a 50 dollars gift card as well and my coupon didn't work because i had one tarp product and i also had the it cosmetics love is the foundation brush in my cart 
too like in my basket and i went to go check out and they were like sorry like this isn't really gonna work like with the other stuff it's just not gonna work and i was like oh no is there anything you can do you know i was expecting to use this coupon today like and she's like yeah if you have a gift card i can just use the three dollars and fifty coupon off the drugstore stuff because i did have a lot of drugstore stuff in my basket i'll split your order into like three and i will use two three dollar fifty off coupons with the drugstore stuff that way you can save yourself like seven bucks and i was like you know that's very nice of you thank you and that's what i did and yeah it took a while because we were in line and my gift card didn't work either so like we had to figure that out and i eventually worked and i used that to pay for like the higher end stuff Stuff. so it was overall just really nice of the Ulta employee she was a very nice girl she had purple hair like very pretty purple hair like not like mine she had it like everywhere and i was like i love your hair <laughs> i really want that but like i can't because i just have way too much hair for that maybe one day when i can afford to go and like get it done but like me myself do it at home i literally can't that is that shade it's very very pigmented and it blended out very nicely i very much like that i am going to go into this lighter shade called bobble A pan just fell off. Oh my god. I just cleaned this desk yesterday. Ah, why? I paid $21 for this tiny little eyeshadow palette. And then that happens. And of course, it's that precious sparkly shade. Of course it is. Fuck me. I'm gonna switch my brush. I'm switching to like a little packer. This one is from Morphe. It's the V205. And that blender that I used was also from Morphe. It's the V204. I've been obsessed with Morphe's vegan line of brushes. I'm gonna use the deeper shade called Lavish. I would hold it up, but I don't want my eyeshadow popping out of here. I'm gonna use this shade right there. Maybe I can use some lash glue to stick it back in. Like, I shouldn't have to do that, man. Like, I really shouldn't have to do that. I just ruined this brush that I have on my eyelash. It's, it's dirty now. Like, really dirty because this pan was so stinking dirty. Way to handle the situation, Alex. Taking the shade Lavish right here and using that to just deepen up this look a little more like right on the outer corner i really enjoy this little tart palette i think it's so cute and like compact easy for travel although please make sure your pans are in place beforehand because that's really upsetting i've never had that happen well, I have. I bought the Alamar Encanto collection, like the palette, and there there was an eyeshadow in there that also popped off and like I had to glue it back, but I actually had glue to do that with and now that's never popping off again, you know, like that's gonna stay in there forever. I'm just, I just used lash glue for this because that's all I have at the moment, but I really wasn't expecting that to happen. It was going so well. You also get like a little mirror with this palette. It's such a like, cute little thing to have you know i'm gonna dip into those first two blending shades bobble and stacked just to blend these colors out together i love neutrals i'm not really a neutral girl really i love playing with color but this palette just really caught my attention for some reason and i couldn't really understand why lauren may beauty spoke about this in her like tiny palette video she has a ton of smaller eyeshadow palettes and well she kind of spoke about this briefly and i was like into it i really loved these shimmers in here i was like wow i've never seen tarte you know come out with a shimmer that sparkly and beautiful usually they're a little dull i'm now gonna take my next glitter primer because i've been obsessed with using this because it just captures the shimmers so nicely you know i love where this went i'm just gonna take my finger with that glitter primer and i'm just gonna pat it with my finger because i want it to just have its moment on my lid i also don't want like a cut crease i don't want any harsher lines i just want this to have its moment and i like to bring my shimmers up 
my high. It's important for me to use this now because I wear contacts and a lot of the time I wear like a sparkly eyeshadow that sparkle will get in my eye. It's helped me a lot not to let that happen to me. Taking out my finger, we're gonna take that problem shade which is a uh, precious right here. I like to take my shimmers with my finger. Wow, that's very pretty. Okay, pop that right on the outer portion of my eye. Oh, that sparkle is beautiful. Wow, that's very pretty. Hello, look at- that's tart. Okay, taking that same shade on the other eye. Look how pretty that is. That's applying beautifully. Wow, heart. I never expected you to have this kind of sparkle in your eyeshadow. That is insanely stunning. I love a sparkly disco looking shimmer. I bring it up all the way to the crease because it's just so pretty. Have you ever seen a shadow from Tarte this beautiful? Because I really haven't. That is insanely stunning. I don't know if you can see, but like, yeah. Look how dry my hands are. Look how they are. What am I supposed to do? I honestly have been putting hand cream on and hand cream and more hand cream, but like they just are in pain. It just hurts at this point and I don't know what to do. This is why I wear gloves when I clean my makeup brush. And yesterday I was just like, no, I'm not going to do that because I don't... I don't like wasting gloves. I need to buy myself a pair of like reusable gloves. I need to buy two. One for cleaning and one for cleaning my brushes. Because that soap I use to clean my brushes is so drying to my hands. Oh my god, that feels nice. I just used the Being Frenchy. This is the Cashmere Vanilla Hand Serum. It smells very nice and it really does moisturize my hands but i used that earlier and i had to reapply so i feel like i need something stronger i'm coming in with this brilliant shimmer which is this goldy shade this one has a different texture than the first one i used and this one's just going in the inner portion of my eye i like the precious shade a little more but i still think that's very pretty you know precious was such a softer creamier shade and this one's kind of rougher in texture and this little palette it says that it's limited edition i don't know why because this one of the best formulas I've used from Tarte. I don't think it should be limited edition. I think it really should be a year-round, like a permanent item. This is so cute. And I love this eye look. It looks incredible. I love to take this blending brush and just blend those shimmers out. I love having like a sparse shimmer, like just blend it out. I think that's so pretty. I did get a little fallout on this eye, more so. I am going to start on the complexion now. I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and I'm going to be running this all over my face. This is a holy grail product for me. I need this with my complexion. I need it. It's it's like what I do now. And I, yeah, I pound it on. I pound it on. But uh, that's fine. It just means less coverage later on. I'm using the Love Izzy Foundation Brush. This is the one for this year. Just like, look at that. That's incredibly stunning. I love this brush. I have two of them. I have this one and I have this one. And then I have another one, but the other one I bought was wrong. It was wrong. This one, I hate the maraca. You know, I don't like that, but this one is nice and quiet, so that's why I bought it, honestly. But I don't mind having two of them, because I love this brush. It's the best foundation brush. I saw Robbie Christie talking about it, Kathleen Light's talking about it, and I was like, is it really? And then I bought, like, the actual dense brush version, like the round top version, because I had a flat top one, and that one I hated. It wasn't what this is at all, and it is. It's one of the best brushes for foundation ever, but I use it for this too, because this is like a very light coverage foundation, you know? And I run this everywhere before going into my foundation. Today is going to be that Yenza foundation. I've used it a few times, a couple of times, but I've been stuck on other foundations. I'm excited to use this today. I'm just going to take that same brush and apply this. This video is going to be so long to edit. It might not go up for like two to three days. Just saying. I look like a ghost. Oh lord. I do have some brush strokes around but um, I like to go in with my brush first and then I go in with a sponge. 
my god. Rihanna my headline the fucking Super Bowl. Stop, because now I'm not missing that. I have to watch it. I have to fucking watch it. Ah, Rihanna, I miss you. Please stop doing what you're doing. Like, stop it. I need you to just be Rihanna again. I look like a ghost, you know? I'm taking my sponge and I'm just going over everything just to get rid of any brush strokes, anything really, like, questionable here. I just want it to look, like, perfect. The next thing I'm gonna do is contour. Contour with the Rare Beauty. This is Happy Soul Bronzing Stick. I haven't used this in a while, honestly, but it's still very good and I still very much love it. I don't know how Selena created a bronzer that you don't have to warm up and it just looks good. Like, it just looks very good no matter what. I don't know how she did that. I'm gonna cover my double chin and wrap it around. We're gonna be super bronzy today and just blending that out with my sponge. Hopefully I can do that without having any issues. I really love this bronzer. I love the tone of it although I am a little tanner than I was earlier so it, it's looking a little lighter than I I am used to, but that's fine. Honestly, I don't really mind that. I'm gonna get the chin now because uh, it's rough, okay? My double chin these days is rough. I feel like I gotta work double to get rid of it to make it look, you know, snatched. But that's fine, honestly. Get my earring out of the way. My earrings are from TJ Maxx. My necklace is also from TJ Maxx. I've been a TJ Maxx girly recently and the TJ Maxx that I go to is fantastic. Honestly, I, I got no complaints on that department. There's other TJ Maxx's around and they are not as good. They are not anywhere near as good as the TJ Maxx that I go to now. Doing the nose contour. I say nose contour, but it's really just so I have something there so I don't look like a blank piece of paper. I'm obsessed with the Halo Glow as contour that I've forgotten how good this is. I've literally haven't used this in a while, so. Did you guys enjoy looking into my collection? Like, I want to do a full collection, makeup collection series, you know? Because I feel like people would be interested in that even though I don't use everything, you know? I have a ton of palettes. I need to organize. But I'm waiting on Ikea to restock their shelving units so I can order, like, two of those so I can do that video. But they haven't restocked at my local store and the only other store other than that one is very far so i am either gonna wait another week i get paid next friday so if the next weekend it doesn't go live it was supposed to be on the 11th they were supposed to restock it on the 11th and then the 11th came and they didn't restock it and then it was the 18th and then the 18th came and they didn't restock it either so i'm still waiting for that but i'm either gonna wait or i'm gonna order it online because it's only six dollars to get it shipped to me but i just don't know how long that's gonna take to ship it to me so yeah that's what i've been dealing with i've been trying to get the ikea like billy extra shelf so i can kind of organize my palettes more because right now it's a huge mess on that shelf and i just need to fix it before before I feel comfortable sharing my palette collection with you but if you guys want to see like a regular makeup collection video I can do that for you I am gonna next go in with my blush I'm gonna use this one first I'm just gonna do like two little, tiny little dots of this first I like a lot of blush so if you see like a lot of blush on my cheeks and you're just like what is going on yeah i love blush i didn't used to love blush though so i literally never wore blush ever look how pretty that is that is so pretty my favorite shades from the rare beauty bl blushes like the liquid blushes is hope and encourage i love those two they're just one of my favorite formulas first of all a little goes a very long way and i do this before my concealer because sometimes it can get a little wonky with the concealer. Now I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater Blush. These are just like really glowy and I really love using these by themselves. But I've never tried to double up on these. Like I haven't tried to use them with a blush under. And so far so good. Look at that glow. I love it. It just gave that blush more of a dewy finish and it's super glowy and glossy i'm gonna take the highlighter before i set this is the wet and wild hello halo 
highlighter and gilded glow michaela spoke about these and i was hooked and i just love the glow that it gives i haven't been into a lot of highlighter recently but a liquid highlighter is so different than a powder highlighter it just gives the skin a lit from within type of glow instead of just like a glittery glossy glow it's so beautiful and so different so that's just what i've been into using recently everyone's different in the way that they do their makeup i love to say this but makeup washes off at the end of the day and it's not even a big deal people can be so rude about just the way you do your makeup and like there's just no freaking reason to because It's makeup. If I want to wear blue eyeshadow with blue lipstick and blue eyebrows, it's fine. I can do that. But a lot of people will give their two cents where it's not needed all the time. I'm taking the number seven powder. I'm getting that ready because my eyes crease like a bitch. I'm gonna pump the NYX Bear With Me Concealer on the back of my hand. I do like half a pump maybe on the back of my hand. Take my sponge and just dip it in and apply where you need it. I know this face probably doesn't help, but I do it. Make sure I blend that concealer into that blush. Taking the side of the sponge where I put blush on and I'm just blending in where I put that concealer down because sometimes it can look a little wonky if you put your concealer after and you don't really blend it out making sure there are no creases this powder looks so natural and like not heavy at all also gonna set anywhere that I feel like I would need it which is around my nose area around my forehead and around my chin I mean I know I didn't really pull this out but I'm just gonna set more with this because I really like the way it looks when I do use it. So I'm just going to lightly tap into the banana shade and this light shade right here. Take the excess powder off. Set the under eyes some more. Also on the T-zone because I don't like to get oily there. I'm going to go back in with the Tarte Jewel palette. I'm just going to take these two shades kind of mixed together on the lower lash line. Kind of drag them in a little. And I don't really want to go to him on the lower lash line. I think I'm just going to keep it halfway on the lower lash line. Blending that out with the fluffy brush. For inner corner, I'm going to take this top shade here called Barkle, which... I think the other shade should be called sparkle, but that's fine. I'm just popping that in the inner corner of my eye and on the brow bone. Now take this nude liner and I'm popping that in my waterline. Okay, and I'm gonna put like a light layer of mascara and then I'm gonna go in with my lashes today. I don't really know what lashes I'm gonna take, but I'm just gonna do this first. I'm kind of scared of putting on lashes because of what happened with my eye yesterday, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna hope for the best. Just a light layer. I am breaking out everywhere. I have breakouts up here. I'm looking now. I have breakouts over here as well. I have some right here. I'm just gonna take some extra powder and kind of go over this area. Because as I said, I'm breaking out there and I don't really want it to be so visible. So this is what we have going on so far. I think I'm gonna put on my lashes and then we can get on with the rest of this makeup look. I threw on some lashes. I just used the Kiss Pompadour lashes. I love how they wing out on the outer edges. And I have to decide what lip I'm going to wear. But first, I'm going to line my lips with the Gingerbread Liner from LA Girl. It's a very nice brown lip liner. I know I have foundation lips. That's how you get like a clean canvas, you know? And I'm just lining the lip. It was so sunny and now it looks like it's about to rain. And there's a hurricane somewhat coming, I would say. We're gonna have a very rainy week. It's giving. The lining of the lips is like, I can't miss step. I cannot miss this step. So slip is a brownie nude would look very good with this. I feel like that's gonna be the one, but uh, millennial would also be very pretty with like a pink lip in the center so i don't really know still me 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 my animal can you really buy this up if you ever let it go me 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 my animal slip <laughs> these are incredible merit actually sent me these and i am forever grateful that they did 
they are extremely extremely beautiful especially on top of lip liner it just it creates the most perfect like lip combo i feel like i am gonna go in with a little bit of gloss just like a little and that is it that is this shop my stash i had so much fun this little palette was so cute i love the way the eyeshadow came out it's just so this was a success i love the way this look came out let me know what you thought of this shop my stash video should i do more of these let me know in the comments down below as always thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me i really appreciate it and if you haven't already i would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more shot my stash videos from me and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Today's video is going to be a little different. I am going to film a shop my stash video. I've never filmed. Rude. Rude. Again. <laughs> I'm gonna choose this. Like, ow, my camera doesn't want to focus. Ignore my dead plant. He died just recently. It's fine, you know? This is the Wet n Wild Halo. Hello is this one this is new for me this is the tartlet amazonian clay palette Ooh, is this the right one things are gonna fall okay i'm sorry but things are gonna fall excuse me and like it got everywhere i cleaned my desk yesterday and it got everywhere i feel like crying I'm gonna take that with my finger. I like to take my finger. Sh I left my water for, and I've just been talking for 20 minutes. And my throat is getting dry, so I may have to go to and get water. So my favorite shades from the Rare Beauty is Happy. No, Hope. My favorite shades from. <laughs> oh, poke my eye. But that's how you get like a clean. those outer corners Ooh. why am i such a mess today i keep dirtying everything and ruining everything let me know what you thought of this shop my stash my lash is coming off we love that for me oh boy i have to film another video now